Hi guys, this is Richard from Insta360. Today we are going to introduce the workflow of live streaming using the Insta360 Pro. We will take YouTube as an example. Use an Ethernet cable to connect the Pro with the router to acquire the IP address. Please calibrate the camera before live streaming in new shooting environment to get stitching parameters. Keep at least one meter away from the camera during the calibration. Then create a live event on YouTube. Make sure to check the 360 degree video box. You can choose the bitrate according to your need and the internet connection. You can find the RTMP URL and stream name here. This is the Insta360 Pro software which can be downloaded from our website. Input the IP address of the Pro to connect. You can preview the live streaming image here. You can also customize the resolution and bitrate. Choose the custom RTMP server, then copy and paste the RTMP URL and stream name accordingly. And now, you are ready to go live. Go to Live Control Room to preview and start live streaming on YouTube. Click here to go to the watch page and you can see the picture now. The resolution goes up to 4K. Now we will introduce how to go live using OBS. First, go to the Insta360 Pro software and input the IP address of the Pro to connect. Then get ready to go live by customizing the resolution and bitrate. Remember to choose the built-in server before going live. Now we go to OBS to add media sources. Please input the Pro's RTMP address here. And set the audio and video buffer size to 30 frames. Of course, you can add multiple pro cameras as well as subtitles to the media sources. For outdoor shooting, you can use a 4G dongle to get access to the internet connection. Simply plug in the 4G dongle and wait for the lights to turn green. You can also use a QR code to go live. Here's how you do this. Go to live streaming mode and then hit this button here. You need to create a QR code using the QR code generator on the Insta360 Pro app. Choose the content type and live streaming mode. The resolution and bitrate can be customized in this page as well. Then input the live streaming URL. And the QR code can be generated now. 
Scan the QR code to get started. We are going to introduce the real-time stitching and optical flow-based stitching in the next video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Facebook page. Stay tuned.